Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous, fabulous day. Guys, we've been waiting on this day for a really long time because you guys have been asked. You guys have been asking us for an update on the best top sun rider that Bobby's got on our Black Bear Edition. And well, today it's running up really, really good. And hopefully if this clears out here a little bit, we're gonna give you that update. But guys, it's just, yeah, look, check it out. It's raining really, really good. So, will the best top leak at all? I don't know. But if you wanna find out, definitely stay tuned here in just a few minutes. Well, maybe a few hours. But to your world, it'll be a couple of minutes. We gotta wait for all this clear out, but it's running up really, really well. I'm curious to find out if that thing is gonna leak. Not long ago, when we first got the got it installed, guys, we had a lot of problems with it. Bobby was okay with that, I wasn't, it's a lot of money. I'm curious if we're gonna see any water in that little fella. I don't know, we're gonna find out here in a little bit. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. All right, guys, monsoon is gone. And, well, we're going to check the Jeep out, and we're going to find out if it leaked. Yeah. But before we do that, I wanted to just take a, a minute and, and talk to Bobby and ask her. I mean, you, you've had this installed for, what, about a year, year and a half now, right? About a year and a half. Okay. So what are your impressions? I mean, you, you've had it installed for a while. You wanted this originally. What do you think? What do you, I mean, tell us about it. I love it. I really do. I mean, I love the convenience of, you know, you can be sitting at a stop sign and just flip it open in two seconds and just keep on driving. Yeah, I get that. And if it gets cloudy and it starts to rain, all you do is just pull over, pull it back down and clip it back down and you're good. You yeah. don't have to worry about mushroom bolts. You don't have to worry about <laughs> storing the tops. Yeah. It's really quick and easy to use. I, yeah. I kind of get that. I mean, you know, taking off the freedom tops, uh, you know, freedom panels, taking those off and things like that, it's heavy. I mean, they're yes. not light. Maybe the JLs are a little bit lighter, you know, but the, these are heavy. And then storing them is kind of a huge, huge pain. And on top of that, if you don't take them off in the middle of summer in Texas in the mornings, yeah. those things get hot. Yeah. I had to yeah, use I towels to yeah, take them off. That. But I, I just, I, I'm really happy with it. I yeah. love it. So you, so the, the biggest reason why you like it then, you're, you're basically telling us that you love the convenience. You love the ability to pop it open when you want to and close it up when you want to. I do. I mean, so, I mean, any uh, any problems? I mean, are, you know, uh, what about noise? I mean, I don't know a lot of people have asked us, asked questions about noise. I mean, are you getting a lot of noise in there? I and mean, well, this is not the, they, they, make, they, they make them in two different versions. I forget what it was. It was the twill and the... The not so twill. I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but we got the higher quality one. Yes, okay. we got the so, twill. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you having noise problems? Are you experiencing any? You know, it's louder than having the freedom panels on there. I will say that it's about the same as just having a full soft top on it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're going to have the same amount, in my opinion, of wind noise and stuff like that yeah. as you would with the soft top. And I will say, I do have a light bar up there. Yep. That's and, true. That probably doesn't help. It just adds to it, probably. And a lot of people complain about whistling and stuff like that with their light bars and stuff like that yeah. and extra wind noise. I just, I, I really don't notice any of that. It's just, it's a little bit louder than having the freedom panels on. Okay. So, it rained pretty hard. It did. Do you think when we open the door we're going to see rain? Uh, I'm kind of 50-50. So sometimes you get rain, sometimes you don't. Sometimes so, I do, guys, sometimes what, I don't. Let's let's uh, let's jump in there and let's find out if if we have a pool of water and we can go swimming or not. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> There you go, guys. There yeah. is water in the Jeep. When's the last time you had water in the Jeep from a rain? Honestly. Uh, it's been months. Yeah. It's been months. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. So, I mean, is it going to leak? Um, you know, yeah. 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 Uh, did we but install it correctly? 
I, I don't know. I, I don't know. This is Bubba's Garage. We do the best we can with what we have. And honestly, I feel like we did a half decent installation on this. If yeah. you guys haven't checked that video out, definitely check it out. Uh, I feel like we did decent. Um, sure, I maybe maybe we did something wrong. And honestly, if you know what it is, definitely let us know. But you know, the thing is, and, and the reason that it doesn't really bother me too much is even when I just had the freedom panels on, I still had leaking. You know, th that's a very good point. I mean, here's the thing, guys. I mean, honestly, you know, we've had one, two, three, four, four, five, five Jeeps right here yeah. on Bubba's Garage. Um, I don't think I've ever had one that did not leak eventually. No. None. 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 And, and this is the first one, actually, with some sort of soft top. Those were all hard tops. They were all the original hard uh, They were hard all tops. hard tops. Yeah. And they leaked. But, I you mean, know, even the hard tops, it's not a solid piece. So there's room for water to find its way in regardless. You know, they say it all the time. It's a Jeep thing. I yeah. mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the fact of the matter is we've done it. Uh, we and, and, well, you would probably do it again, I'm guessing. Yeah, I yeah. would. Yeah. Me, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> my winter edition, it leaks ver very rarely, but it is still fairly new. Um, but I, I suspect eventually it's going to leak a little bit more. And, um, no, I don't want to help it. You know, <laughs> I, I just don't want to help it leak, uh, unfortunately. So. I guess for me, just the convenience of being able to pop the top open and stuff like that when... Even with the freedom panels, I still had leaking. I, yeah. I feel like it's still worth yeah. it. Yeah, and that's why you buy a Jeep, is mm -hmm. to be able to do those things. You can't do those things on just any car. So, no. guys, I, you guys have been asking for this video for a really, really long time, and this is our update. Um, if you have any questions or comments, or or maybe you have some suggestions, definitely leave them down below. We'll oh, definitely absolutely. take a look at those. Uh, right now, I'm going to wrap up this video. If, guys, if you like this video, give us a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you want to stick around and find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.